Okay, in this video what we're going to be doing is deriving the law of cosines, which is surprisingly easy to derive considering how useful it is in the long run. Um, so to derive it, first we need a triangle. And I'm going to label up the triangle with angles and sides, and if you remember it's capital letters for angles and lowercase letters for sides, um, and they're opposite each other. So A, little B, little B, and C, little C. Um, so to derive it, the way that I'm going to do this, is I'm going to drop an altitude from angle C um, to the side AB. So right angle there. I'm going to call the altitude H uh, for height. And if you notice, it splits the side AB. So I'm going to call the side, um, the part of it to the left of the altitude. I'm going to call that X. And that means the side to, uh, the part rather, to the right of the altitude would be X, uh, C minus X, because um, the whole thing is C. And for convenience, I'm going to label that point where the altitude hits side AB as point D. And so that's going to let me talk about a couple of triangles. So the first triangle that I'm going to look at is going to be triangle BCD. Um, so that's kind of the right half of the picture. And in that triangle, I'm just going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And it tells me that A squared is H squared plus the quantity C minus X squared. And what I'm going to do is expand this. So A squared equals H squared plus... Um, square the first, multiply them together times 2, and then square the last. So c squared minus 2cx plus x squared. And I'm going to box that and save it for later. Now what I'm going to do is move to the left triangle, which is triangle um, ACD. So for triangle ACD, again, I'm just going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And it tells me that b squared is x squared plus h squared. Um, so now my ultimate goal, like this is another equation, I'm going to solve this for h squared. And my ultimate goal is to um, eliminate the H's and X's from these things. So i got to try to do that. So let's box that. Now I'm going to combine these two equations because I can use H squared equals B squared minus X squared and sub it into the first equation that I boxed and get rid of the H squares. And that's good because I'm closer to not having anything I made up. So that gives me A squared equals, I'm replacing H squared, so B squared minus X squared, and then plus c squared minus 2cx plus x squared. Um, and this cleans up to a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2cx. But there's still an x in there, and I made up x when I was kind of dropping that altitude. So I still want to get rid of that, but I'm closer. Um, so now I need to find something that can relate uh, x to only parts of the triangle that I had originally. So if you look at that left-hand triangle, triangle um, ACD, uh, in that triangle, if I take the cosine of A, it's going to be X over B, and that's good because it, it relates A and B to X, and A and B are things that I was given originally, so I can solve this and get X equals B cosine of A, and now what I'll do is I will take um, the equation I just boxed and substitute it into the last one I boxed, so into here, and that actually gives me the law of cosines. So the law of cosines says that a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cosine a. So that's one form of the law of cosines. Um, but there's actually there's three ways to rewrite this. So uh, let's take a look at those. So we have our triangle again. Um, so we could start with c squared. And if it's c squared, then we're going to have equals, it's the other two sides squared, so a squared plus b squared, minus two times those other two sides, so a, b and then cosine of the angle. So as long as these two things are the same, so side C squared and then angle C, um, it doesn't really matter what order you put the other sides in, uh, it's going to work out for you. Um, or we could choose to focus on B squared. So it's B squared equals other two sides are both squared, then minus two product of the other two sides, and as long as these are the same, B and B, it's going to work out for you. And then just to return to the one that we actually derived, we had a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cosine a. And again, you can see that a and a are the same. It doesn't really matter what order you put the b and the c into um, that particular form. Uh, it's going to work out for you. So that's actually how you uh, work out the law of cosines. I hope you found this helpful, and uh, good luck.